man, mostly just the, the I was tired of the floppy disk situation and, and they, you know, this data corrupt on me and now to be gone and whatnot. But, you know, these computers, they, they working with us right now. Like I'm, I'm about to get some more equipment just because my boy was showing me just how crazy it is. You got machines that you just throw the, the wave in and it chop it up for you. You know what I mean? All that. So I'm trying to get into it. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, like, I was on the MPC 2000 XL for, like, 20 years. I recently, I would say the last maybe six to eight months, been on the um, MPC studio with the laptop and all that. Right. And it's been right. crazy, like, because I was I had the MPC 2000 XL and a track board, a fourth text uh -huh. team track. And for me to send beats was just, the process was just too long. But this... Bouncing it, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, like we we had an MPC uh, as well. I, I rocked with that for a while. Um, I love the the uh, the rhythm and the, the the sequencing of the MPC, but sitting there chopping samples is a headache on on the MP. You know what I mean? So I just got tired of that, and I I, I wanted to step up, man. That's when my uh, cousin put me on the Logic, and now shit, my producer. Dude, I mess with at the studio. He on the logic now too, cause it's just it's simple. It's cut and paste. You know what I mean? I can I, I can do more digging and, and chopping than actually all that truncating and, and taking forever to, to to get to the beat. You know, once you're working on it for an hour, you are gonna get tired of it, no matter what it is. You hearing it over and over. I don't know. I've been bouncing back and forth, like in between the three hundred three. And the MPC 2500 and then the 2000 XL. Yeah, the 2000. Yeah, I was on the 2000 XL for almost like 20 years and just switched over Shit. to the MPC Studio. Wow. Yeah, better workflow. You know? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I got it live. I, I didn't use it yet, but it's just sitting there. But I got an MPC live too. Right, right. I didn't right. touch it yet. Yeah. So do you keep up with all the newest technology as far as the gear that comes out? Nah. I don't. Um, nothing is really appealing to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's dope. Like, like um, me and Ski Beats is like really good friends. Uh, I spent I spent time at his house, and like he got like all the new shit. He had like I remember him putting me on to MPC X. He had the the touch. He had the live. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he always had like the new shit coming out. Now he's on something else. Like he's on some like. Like he's using plugins, not plugins, but um, like like modulators and shit. Like he's on some way way different out of this world shit. Right. But um, that's how I got introduced to it. You know what I mean? But me, like right now, I want to get an ASR ten. That's my like mm -hmm. next. That's my next move. Like I want uh, ASR. Because yeah. I got I mean? the um, I got the EPS um, the one before that, the EPS okay. plus. I never used okay. it. I just, I've been, I've had it for years, just sitting around, right. you know what I mean? But yeah. do you think, in your opinion, do you think all this higher, techno higher technology, you know, equipment makes your beats better? Or is it really the individual? It doesn't really matter. It's the individual. At the end of the day, it comes down to how much time you put into it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, it's, it's all about time. Like, I just remember when I first started making beats, I spent, like, Shit, like 20 hours a day making beats all day. I did not sleep. And that's how I got good with Fruity Loops. Now I'm a little bit older because I just got into hardware. I, I would say when my mid-20s, like 24, 25, I got into hardware. And I didn't really have as much time to sit with the machines. So I feel like I didn't fully master them yet. But... You can master anything if you put time into it. You know what Absolutely. I mean? You, you can have new equipment and still be trash. I believe that. What's good, family? Hit the link in the bio or go to my YouTube page, Strictly For My Diggers, to see the full video. Also, go to my website, www.strictlyformydiggers.com. Peace.